Well, I don't think you should single out just the BBC. Surely it's all programme makers, isn't it? Hi, it's me again. And Sue Pollard, do you remember her? She's been in a few things, isn't she? I remember her. She's quite funny. She's got something to say about the BBC and their political comedy shows. But I don't think, as I said at the beginning, I don't think she should just single out the BBC for this. I think it's all programme makers now fall into this trap, don't they? Let's have a look at this together, shall we? Sue said, I would love to see the BBC do old-style comedy again. For a lot of people with the current situation, it would be lovely for them to feel they have a show to watch that's not political. Something that's just as it is, with silly humour. And something warm with nice characters. I think people would love to have that feel-good factor at the moment. So yeah, but I don't think it's just the BBC. I mean, name me a sitcom that's come out in the last couple of years that you would put up against something like Only Fools and Horses or Hello, Hello, or Some Mothers Do Have Them Even, or Dad's Army, stuff like that. The only one I can think of that's semi-modern that I would put up against that is Benny Dawn. And Sue Pollard appeared in that briefly, didn't she? But yeah, that was really good, really good, and quite politically incorrect at times, and very funny, and a family show. I mean, it pushed the bounds a bit of a family show, granted, but it was a family show. But I can't think of anything, anything made recently that you could put up against the classics like that, the good old-fashioned family sitcoms. I just remember when there was a new Only Fools and Horses coming on or a Christmas special or something. Me and my dad would be so excited when I was a kid. New Only Fools and Horses. Name me a sitcom that gets that kind of pull nowadays. I can't think of one. Heidi High was famed for its cheeky humour and lovable characters. When it aired on the BBC in the 80s, it regularly pulled in 16 million viewers. Indeed, it was so popular that more than three decades after it was last made, people still love it. Yeah, I used to quite like it. It wasn't my favourite one, but I remember my parents liking it. But 16 million viewers an episode on Heidi High, the BBC would kill for those kind of numbers now, wouldn't it? I think any TV channel would. And the problem is there's so much choice that, um, you know, they have to make a safe, you know, a safe idea. They can't make anything too risky and throw a few million at it making it for it to flop. That's the problem with films now, isn't it? They're only making safe films. That's why there's so many comic book films, because they know comic book characters have a, a set bank of fans that will pay to see it. They're not going to make any new ideas. Do you honestly think if someone went to uh, one of the studios now with something like Forrest Gump or Fight Club and said, let's make this, and they go, no, 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 I'm not risking all the money on that. It'd be crazy, wouldn't it? And I think it's the same with these. You know, they, they have to make safe stuff, especially the BBC, you have to make safe stuff because they've got to fill the schedules and they've got to they've got to be safe they've got to get viewers in and not be too pushy with it or risk the backlash i mean netflix is getting a bit better at it now i mean you can go with, to netflix with any old idea and they'll make it wouldn't they but is there any sitcoms on there uh, i don't think so i don't think i don't think there is i know amazon prime has got married with children one of the greatest sitcoms of all time you can imagine that being made nowadays if you ever watched it you'll know there's no way that could be made nowadays so I don't think she should be singling out the BBC on this. I think it's all programme makers that are a problem. And I think the days of good, risky, but family-based sitcoms, I think the days are over. They're over. It's all reality shows now, isn't it? So let me know what you think about this and let me know what your favourite sitcom was. And if you can think of one in the last few years that you would consider proper, good old-fashioned family sitcom stuff, you know, proper classic style that was made in the last few years. I can't think, I'm sure there must be one. I don't watch a lot of broadcast telly, so I can't really think of one. But if you can think of one, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon. When I... Ta-da.